I got your text. Yeah, I was just thinking, I don't know, this whole COVID staying in, like no structure, it's just like doesn't work for me. It's like making me feel like I just can't handle the staying home, not working. It's like recently all I've been doing is like trying to find things to do, like doing this, doing that, and just like renting a house in Malibu for an escape. And then that turned into a total show with paparazzi. It's like, okay, this is no sanctuary at all. You know, with everything going on, I'm just tired. In my mind, I'm thinking, I wasted all this time. I can't have any privacy. I can't have any time by myself. This is ruined. Like, I just can't handle having nothing really to do. And the truth was, I started feeling more and more anxious, more and more depressed. Like I was going to do something bad if I didn't figure something out or take myself out of this position. I think now is the time to work on it. I go to therapy every week, but I never have like any breakthroughs and I never feel happy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I just didn't grieve my parents correctly or give it enough time. And I just want to be the best person I can be for my family. And a couple people told me about this place that specifically deals with like past traumas. I just want to learn how to like deal with everything the right way. If you're fine having the kids and stuff and you're good with everything, I would go for like at least a month. Yeah, I mean, I'm good. I'm good with the kids. I am caught a little off guard, you know, because for the first time, Scott isn't being asked to go away. He isn't having an issue with alcohol or drugs, and it's like his idea. So I think it feels really different. And I want him to be the best that he can, you know, for my kids and for himself and for me. And so I'm like more than happy to support him in any way that I can. This time, I think it's really like bringing up like important work that we all have to do.